All right, guys, so I'm here in Logic. Hopefully you can see my setup. I'm also testing out my whole OBS setup right now. So if there's something weird, I apologize in advance, but I'm trying to make sure that I, I've been dealing with Roblox all day. So I'm trying to make sure that um, I accomplished the goal today, which was, hey, let's record us making some beats in Logic. All right, so let's see here. The whole name of the game today is let's make some instrumentals for OBS. Or excuse me, not for OBS, for my YouTube channel, which hopefully you're gonna you're subscribing to right now, even as you watch. Um, and we want to be able to do it quick, right? We don't want this type of project. We don't want it to take a long time. So we're gonna go into contact. Vintage keys, right there, looking at me right in the face. Okay, uh, let's go with the A two hundred. I like the sound, but it's too, it has too much top on it. Um, I want something a lot warmer. Let's see this. Yeah. Let's speed up. Uh, we'll go 145. it use Q to quantize, right? Some stuff is a little off, it's all good. Yeah. 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 I'm using a new tool today, too. I've known about this plugin for quite some time. ADSR. I love it because it automatically tempo matches and I have it hooked up to splice. And so whenever I'm inside a splice, man, blah, blah. let's say I use splice to download an, a, a new uh, track. Um, I come right over here to packs and it automatically lands everything that's in my splice library right here. The only thing I don't like is that it automatically loops it. I think I could tell it not to, but, but anyway. All right, so let's see if we can get something behind it. Let's run it. Hey. big on like using samples pre-made samples so you'll see me even even in this ooh, ooh wee. hey i know it don't make sense yeah i'm so are we gonna do it for that Throw in a little reverb. Uh, let's go chroma verb, right? That's a that's a logic plugin. Reverb, uh, chroma verb. Ooh. Let the you know what I mean. We'll turn it down. Ooh. Loosen up the attack. 
The only thing I don't, there's a harsh light top on it. Um, we're gonna see if we can use Transient Master to see if we can just bring the attack down on the overall sound. Of the yeah. And then we'll top it with a little EQ. Cool. And look, right there, it's automatically telling me around 2K. That's where it is. And I probably should multiband, not multiband compress this, but compress this right, um, right at, just at that frequency uh, to be specific. But like I said, for a beat like this, with the goal that we have for this type of track, it's just for YouTube this. So it's not that we don't want to go all, all out. We want to save on time and make sure that we're capitalizing our time. We don't want to spend 20 minutes on this beat. We need 10 and out. Hey. I'm looking for very With some effect the, with the right touch on it that let's go ahead and do it i'm just going off an of instinct don't judge me hey Woo! so with this is the only thing i don't like about contact is that if you have a sound that has some type of loop built into the metadata um it's automatically gonna go pick up on that it's cool in some regards but when it's one shot i want a system that could say hey this is a one shot we're gonna leave it right here oh this is a loop we're gonna loop you know so i just wish it was a little bit more intuitive but maybe adsr is i'm still still getting used to it. here we go i don't want to do that i want to keep it chill Ah! Now I love mixing hi hats. It just hi hats they, they they control the neck. So whatever the neck is doing, you always know. All right, whatever the hi hat is doing, that's what the neck is gonna do. Hey. So for this type of track, I'm I only want two more instruments. Um, because I don't want to spend a whole much more time on this one. Let's go ahead and add a piano and see if we can add a little bit of 808. Call it a day, man. Um, What's going on, people? You will not even believe what happened while I was recording the computer died, man. I went ahead and laid the piano and the bass, as I was saying in the video. I'm going to post the, uh, the the song right here so you can hear the finished product. But there it is. A beat in 10 minutes. The key is don't stop creating. The whole time, you keep creating. You don't want to be cycling through sounds too too long. You don't want to be stuck in your head too long. This isn't the time to try and audition new stuff like that. You want to go to your bag. You want to know where your uh, your good sounds are, and you want to be able to tap into them, load them right up, get the beat made so you can move on to the next. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Peace.